Disturbing new details on a botched kidnapping that left an elderly Coventry woman cheating death, having been choked and left for dead. Hello again, everybody. I'm Jean Valisetti. I'm Patrice Wood. Police say that she was followed home by a man she met at Wendy's. Temi Topa Adlea live with the terrifying story. Temi? You know, Patrice, it's like something out of a crime drama. The suspect arraigned here at Kent County Courthouse this morning for a series of illegal acts that led to his arrest over the weekend. From Ohio to Rhode Island, 53-year-old Stephen Henning is building up quite a rap sheet. The details coming out this morning in court. Judge, this matter began a couple weeks ago in the state of Ohio where the defendant learned that his girlfriend uh, had taken an insurance settlement from him. He assaulted said girlfriend and then fled in a car that he stole from a family member. That car was later found in Woonsocket. The attorney general's prosecutor says a woman he met online got him to Burville, where he stole another car. He took that blue Impala, and from his statements, he was going to return to Ohio to murder his girlfriend. Prosecutors say Henning came up with a plan to steal another car that wouldn't be reported stolen because its owner would be dead. Police said Saturday night, Henning struck up a conversation with an 80-year-old woman at a Wendy's. He learned that she was presently living alone in her home, that her husband was hospitalized. Knowing that she'd be home alone, he followed her home. He is accused of robbing, then assaulting her, putting her in the back of her own vehicle. Police said he then dumped the woman in a wooded area in Smithfield after allegedly tightening a belt around her neck until she became unconscious. Henning apparently thought she was dead. The elderly woman regained consciousness and stumbled out of the woods for help. She is conscious, however, she has lacerations, hematoma, possible fractured skull, and patechia that is so severe that there is no white left in her eyes. He was arrested Sunday hiding in the basement of a Providence home. Henning is being held without bail, but before the sequence of events, Henning had a pretty lengthy criminal record. We'll dive into that more coming up at 6 o'clock. Live in Warwick, Temi Talk, Adelaide, NBC 10 News.